Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming. I've got a pretty cool uh, video to show you here. Uh, it's something similar to one of the promotion videos, which we do have some of those coming up, so y'all just uh, be on the lookout for more of them. But this one is actually going to be uh, a mist It's a couple mystery cubes. In fact, I got a letter here that says, Hey TCA Gaming, I hope you and your channel are having a great week, and thank you for this awesome opportunity. I've been a fan of you and your content for a long time. I've put together two mystery cubes cubes here for you to keep personally along with a bunch of code cards for your channel. I was about to send this off yesterday but decided I needed to throw something else in there for your channel to enjoy. Hope you get some great pulls. Thanks. And this is from the 90's Time Machine. So this is a uh, He's starting up a new channel, and if you would, go check out his channel down in the description. There's a link there. I know many of you who uh, checked out Phil and Chill really enjoyed that. He just posted three base set heavy booster pack openings up in that guy's video, and I'm sure that the 90s Time Machine is going to have some really cool stuff coming up, and I'll try to keep you updated if he, if he posts some cool videos as well. So we've got these three tins in the background. Two of them are mystery, mystery cubes, and one of them is actually a sealed Sceptile EX-10. And then there's also one more thing I'm going to have to lift up the camera to show you. Over here, he actually sent me this big Pikachu blanket as well. When my girls saw this, they both screamed, and they were thinking it was for them because they love their blankets. It may end up with them. I, I don't know. It kind of looks really nice. It's super soft. But thanks again, 90s Time Machine. So here we go. We're going to check out these mystery cubes first, and then we'll open up this sealed tin. We'll set that one off in the background first. Um, I'm going to open up this Volcanian. Well, let's see which one. They're both pretty heavy, so I'm going to try out this Volcanian one first and see what we have here. All right, so it looks like we're going to start off with a Dialga Level X. So this is Generation 4 right here. This is DP37. It uh, would have come out in one of the one of the window tins just like one of these, except for instead of having an EX or a GX, it would have had the Level X. The Level Xs were pretty cool. Um, unlike the EXs, the capital EX cards, they were like the lower EX cards in which they had to evolve if they were an evolved Pokemon. But Dialga is already a basic, so a Dialga Level X would have just been able to be a basic Pokemon when you brought it out. These were really cool. There were several errors in the cards. In fact, I, I believe it was this one. It may be in a different. Maybe, maybe it was the other Diago. But um, they actually had one where there was a weakness showing as the electric type energy. I don't think it was the promo though that had that error. Let's see what else we have in here. Looks like we've got a stack of cards. It's always good when they're sleeved. We'll check those out here in a second. Also got some codes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys all these codes right now. And uh, I asked that if you get one or two of these codes, maybe you can leave some for someone else. Wow, there's a good one. A Tag Team 10, Celebi and Venusaur GX 10. So that's going to unlock a whole deck, including the Celebi and Venusaur GX, if I remember correctly. There's a Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. Here's the one that was turned around. There's an XY Evolutions, so that's really good. We've got Lost Thunder, got Shining Legends. And so if you want to activate one of these codes, you can just hit that pause button and then try to try to activate it online. Another evolutions, a team up. Man, these are all really playable codes right now. You got Sun and Moon there. Team up. I mean, this is going to be in rotation for a while. I imagine Burning Shadows, Sun and Moon, some of those are going to go out of rotation for the regular format, but they'll definitely be good for the standard for or for the expanded for a long, long time. And they're all good at least until August 15th. There's a Hoenn Power 10 Sceptile. I think that's what we got there in the background. So that's going to unlock a full deck too. So there's another good one. Got the Mimikyu pin. Got the Mimikyu sidekick collection. That's a little bit harder one to get. Same thing with the Pikachu sidekick collection. Got another XY Evolutions. Another XY Evolutions. And a third XY Evolutions to finish it off. So thanks. There's a bunch of codes for a lot of you who are gamers on there. You can go check those out. Oh, wait, looks like I missed one. We got another Sun and Moon team up code. Awesome. So this uh, this mega this is actually the Mega Mewtwo I believe the X it come from the Mega Mewtwo figure boxes they come out in I believe it was 2015 and they come out with the promos XY 101 and XY 100 this was one of them they also had the other Mega Mewtwo which was the Y so you could get either one of those boxes man that's a pretty cool figurine I'm gonna set it in the background oh it looks like he also sent us a coin this is the Alolan Nine Tails coin and if I remember correctly this comes from the one of the blister pack, the check lane blister packs, I'm sure you could have gotten them in a theme deck as well. I believe it was a theme deck and uh, 
a check lane blister pack. I can't remember the the theme deck that they come from though. Let's see what else we have. Also, there's the Mega Mute, or this is the Mewtwo tin. I can't. I don't think it was the uh, the Mega Mewtwo one. I believe this one come in a pin collection all by itself. Uh, these are getting much harder to find. A lot of people collect pins. I used to have tons and tons and tons of these things, but now if I get pins, I just normally send them off to Troll and Toad and let them sell them because that back side right there makes it a lot harder to ship it in an envelope, and if it does, it normally gets damaged. So really cool. And then here are some of the cards that were uh, sitting on the bottom. So that'll round out the tin, and we're going to show that stack of cards too. So we've got a Tentacool and an Alolan Geodude. I really don't know what to expect from this stack. I'm going to just go through and see what he has. So you said a holographic Dialga. This is from the Lost Thunder set. Got a Sophocles Reverse Hollow. Got Nidorino Hollow or Reverse Hollow. Got the Absol Hollow. This uh, this Emolga was really popular when Team Up come out because that Pikachu had the Nuzzle attack as well, and uh, with the Nuzzle gathering, gathering, it was just something that people were trying to run. It was really cute. Got a Reverse Hollow Doduo, Reverse Hollow Plumeria, Reverse Hollow Morgan. Look at that, we got a full art Pokemon Breeder. This come from the Shining Legends set. It was the only full art trainer from that set. And uh, I always thought it was really cool because in the original base set series, there was a Pokemon Breeder, but it was just a, uh, it was a, it was a guy. So in this one, there's a meal tank with a girl. Got a return holo, or return label reverse, a how reverse. You got scissor reverse hollow, also from Lost Thunder. Got a Keldeo from Shining Legends. Of course, if, um, if you opened up Shining Legend Booster Packs, you know that all of the packs have a holographic card in there, and all of the hollows are, in fact, myth mythical Pokemon. So we got, or legendaries, as some of you call them. I, believe, I think there's a small difference between it. I used to run this card in my Tapu Bulu Vikavolt deck. It was really good to uh, help out with the HP on Tapu Bulu. Got a Reverse Hollow Merrill. Got Starmie. This is the reprint from base set in Evolutions. He was reprinted as a Reverse Hollow. Many people ran this in the Volcanian. Uh, deck and it could be ran in some more of the fire decks. These reverse hollow energies, the sun and moon uh, type like this, I believe you could get them in either Shining Legends or Dragon Majesty. There's really no difference between them, but people really liked them because they had the reverse hollow and the new style format. Of course, you have the Zygarde here. I'm not really sure which form it is. I heard he has like 10 different forms or something crazy like that. I've seen a few of them, but I really don't, I haven't watched the show to be able to tell. The difference between them. There's a cool card. You got a reverse holo nine tails from Team Up. So he's really sending in some good reverse hollows. Got a reverse holo Machoke and it's shifted off to the right a little bit. Same thing with that Gyarados. I bet these were may have been pulled from the same set of packs that come off of a similar sheet. So maybe like an Elite Trainer box or possibly a booster box. And of course the Gyarados was always a favorite in the original series. Here we've got a Victini Star, and these have become really popular lately. Um, for a while there, Dragon Master, they were super cheap, but people started picking these up again lately because of the fire support that we just got in Unbroken Bonds. We've got Energy Retrieval, very useful in decks. And look at that, we got us a Mewtwo GX from Shining Legends. There was uh, four GXs in the set. You had Entei, Raichu, Mewtwo, and then Zoroark. For the longest time, Zoroark was the main playable card, but everyone always liked the Mewtwo, and uh, it's still very, very popular today, so that's really cool. He's got us like a Mewtwo-themed uh, mystery cube here with the, you got the figure, and then you've got the pin, and then we've also got this Mewtwo GX now, so that's really cool. So we've got a Magikarp Reverse Hollow, then we've got us another Alolan Vulpix. The first Alolan Vulpix was printed in the um, Sun and Moon Guardians Rising set, which is super playable. Fiery Flint, another now very popular trainer that people are trying to run with their fire decks. I, I believe I'm sold out completely of these. This Deoxys was super high for the longest time. I can't remember, I, I don't know exactly why it was. I wasn't in the playing game during the time that it come come through, but the Deoxys number 67, this this was like an $8 card at one point. You got the Alolan Muck, both the Alolan Muck and the regular Muck was printed in Team Up. People preferred this one. It had a cool rainbow color effect on its skin. You've got a reverse holo Nidorino. You've got a reverse holo Volcarona. Reverse holo Hypno. Then you got Nanu. Uh, no, you got another mythical Pokemon there with Manaphy. Another reverse holo Gyarados. Always cool to get a Gyarados. And this is from the Dragon Magic. I, I believe that I've been sold out of this card for a while now. Then we got Latios from Shining Legends as well. And then the last card we've got is a Blaine's Last Stand reverse holo. Oh, wait. I believe there's there's still more to that stack, and we haven't even got to the second cube yet, or the the Ho or the Septile EX10. 
So we got another B drill. And if you notice again, it shifted off to the right. So I bet you this was pulled with some of those other cards. Now we've got a Dark Ride GX from uh, Burning Shadows. This is the alternate art card. And I remember when the Burning Shadows come out, man, there was so much hype around this card, but it was so heavy to play and it was an easy knockout. So the decks didn't stick around very long. You've got Steam Siege here with your Volcarona Reverse Hollow, one of the sets that had the dual typing, as you saw, that was Grass and Fire. Got us a Ultra Beast Cartana, a Reverse Hollow Raikou, also being ran in many decks. You got us a Reverse Hollow War Turtle. A Lantern, Marsh Shadows, super popular card, even in decks right now. People like that ability that it has where it makes your opponent shuffle their hand into their deck and then draw four cards. That can be very useful if they played some draw cards. I always thought this card would see a lot more play than it does because of its ability. Prevents all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Pokemon GX or EX. But I guess that opponents can find a lot of ways around it. This Alolan Executor is a reprint, I believe of the no this isn't the reprint one or it might be i can't remember. there was one in forbidden light that people really liked and then it was reprinted in this set there was the 114 and the 115 i don't think that this one was the reprint one but i could be wrong on that viridian forest again this was a really good trainer that was hyped up that people thought were going to be really it was really good but it's nothing like a cynthia or something that's going to be super playable in all the decks <clears throat> Like a Guzma, of course. Guzma, probably one of the most powerful trainers out there now. Uh, people are, I mean, it's basically a, ne a necessity in any deck that you have, but more than likely it will rotate out in August. But at the moment, still a very powerful card. Another Reverse Hall Gyarados. Uh, that's really cool. And we got us a second Zygarde as well. So a lot of really cool cards. He didn't skip out on these Reverse Hollows, and he's been throwing in GXs here left and right. So, I mean, this is a lot better than what I could have possibly pulled, even if he just sent me these 10 sealed up. And he's sending good cards on top of that. you got a Raichu, and this is from Burning Shadows, another good ability. Of course, anything from the Pikachu line is always going to be um, a plus from players. Got the Alolan Ninetales, now look at that. So it's got the Luminous Barrier. Again, this was like the Hoopa had the same ability. But people like the Alolan Ninetales better just because it's Alolan Ninetales. It looks cool. I mean, check out that artwork. And then on top of that... It, it, it's also weak to steal instead of whatever um, Hoopa was, which I think was something more common. And check it out. We got us a Tapu Lele GX. Wow. Now, these have come down quite a bit, but I'm sure there are several of you out there who remember when these cards were like $50 a piece just in the regular art. I think when they uh, come out at the, as the, at the reprint, they were still around 20 bucks, and I believe they've come down a bit since then. It's because they're not as playable in the decks as more. I mean, you can still play them, but they're just easy knockouts, and then they're also going to be rotating out very soon. But still a really good pull. I was not expecting a Tapu Lele GX in here, that's for sure. So we got us a Lycanroc Reverse Hollow, a Dusknoor. A Komala, and that's the SM41. We got us a Reverse Hollow Growlithe, Super Potion, a Zoroark from Team Up, a good card right there. You got us a Hone Edge, and then we're going to finish it out with a Kobalion GX from the Team Up set. So really good, good cards. I mean, I, I think there was at least five GXs there, maybe even more, that were just stuck right in here in this stack in the very first Mystery Cube. So a plus job on that first mystery cube man i wasn't expecting to get all of that so now we've, we're moving on to the second one i'm getting starting to get excited to see this one now i thought this was going to be a very quick video but it looks like he's done a great job in sending some cool stuff so we're going to continue on with some more of this mewtwo stuff so we got some mewtwo level x and this is also the promo from the 10 man when this thing come out this is what everyone wanted i was just getting back into pokemon um, full like full force when uh, this kind of stuff come out it was around Legends Awaken if I remember correctly and man I was going to Target I was going to Walmart I was going everywhere I could just to try to pick up the Mewtwo and Regigigas or the he maybe it was the Heatran and the Mewtwo I can't remember or it was Rhyperior and Mewtwo and I believe it was Regigigas and Heatran those tins were the ones that were out and man you just I mean, you'd pay 15 bucks and you'd get all you get four Diamond and Pearl packs, and then you'd get the a Mewtwo Level X or Rhyperior Level X, and it was such a great deal. So th those were um, super cool cards, and I'm glad he sent me that. It brings back some memories for me. So we're going to start off with an, an older booster code. We got the Phantom Forces booster pack. We have Shining Legends, Fates Collide. Got some good cards in there. Another Lost Thunder for those of you players. Another Fates Collide. Got Team Up, Lost Thunder, Fates Collide. Roaring Skies, 
I'm sure many of you remember when those were super, super hot. You got Evolutions, another Evolutions, the Battle Heart 10 Pikachu. There's a good one. You're going to have, I think it's two Pikachu EXs in that deck. You've got the uh, Check Lane Blister for Jang Mu Oh. It should just unlock that promo. You've got the Shining Legends, another Roaring Skies, another Shining Legends. Personally, that would be the ones that I want, the Shining Legends. You got Primal Clash, Shining Legends. Primal Clash is where they come out with that with the new pull rates where you get one per six packs instead of eight packs on the um, ultra rares you got forbidden light another breakthrough another shining legends man he just loaded us down we got fates collide another sun and moon base set got burning shadows maybe you'll pull some of those hyper rare charizards you got shining legends another sun and moon base sun and moon team up and another sun and moon team up and then we'll finish out with a komala promo so man that's a good stack of promos Guys, I hope you don't unlock them all at once. I hope there's just that one person getting all of those and you share. Oh, cool. Look, we got us the, uh, I can't remember what these, it's like a little pin keychain from the Sidekick collection. This is the Mimikyu one. I believe there was a specific name for these things, but I can't remember what it is right offhand. Man, that's pretty cool. I know that there's a lot of people who like the Mimikyu. <clears throat> got us a stack there. Let's see if there's anything in here. Get that stack of cards up here. Let's just pull it on out. All right. So there's the matching Mimikyu pin. Man, these pins got expensive really quick when they first come out. People, uh, they sold through them very fast. And then there's a Genesect coin. And this coin you could have gotten several places, so I'm not even going to try to guess where that one came from. But look at that. We got us a huge stack of reverse hollows, I imagine. And... We're going to start us off with a Mareep. Got a Manaphy from Shining Legends. Shining Mew. Wow. Look at that. So we've got lots of good Psychic Pokemon, and we get us a Shining Mew. Let's check out the condition of it. Look at that. It's textured. Man, it looks to be in great condition. I bet this guy, 90's Time Machine, pulled this card and then sleeved it right away. Look at that. It's got the Shining Legends sleeves on the back side there. Super cool, man. He did not hold back when sending in some of this stuff. Got us a Reverse Hollow Charmander. Got us a Rhyperior. Look, and we got us a Mewtwo as well. So I don't know what's the count on the Mewtwo. At least, what, five? You got the GX, the Level X, the Reverse Hollow. Got the pin and the figure. And then we also have the Shining Mew. Of course, you can't have Mewtwo without the Mew. Got Reshiram, got us another Hoopa. Let's check out the weakness. Yeah, the weakness is fighting. So man, that's not, shouldn't really get hit by too many meta decks. There's another Reverse Hollow from Evolutions. Again, you can see that the right side, or the left side, is much thicker than the right side, so I bet it was shifted where it all come from the same booster box. We've got us a Hollow Lucario, a Darkness Energy, Shelter, Porygon 2, Jasmine from the new Team Up set, a Vulpix, and we've got us another GX. So this is the Ampharos GX from Team Up. Another really good, solid card. Man, it's, I should have been putting all of the GXs in the background as I've been showing, as I've been pulling them. So we've got us a Mandibuzz and a Motham. Both of those from Fates Collide. Got Morlul, Brion, a Raquanid, uh-oh. I saw that. I'm sure some of you did too. There's Ivasaur from Shining Legends. Again, a pretty good popular card because of the Venusaur who's really good. You got the Tropius and a Full Art Mewtwo GX. And this is also from Shining Legends. Man, he's just loading us down with the Mewtwo's. And you know what? I really like Mewtwo. Probably one of my favorite Pokemon characters. A solid card. Everyone always likes him. You got us a Latios Prism. And this is from Celestial Storm. So let's take a look at that Mewtwo GX again. The Full Art on it is just really nice. It's got a different type of full art texture, just reflects that light, super good. And I, I bet you he pulled this straight from a pack as well and he just sleeved it right away. Then we still have more cards to go. And we still have a 10 to open. So we got us a Nidorino Reverse Hollow, got a Dratini, got a Minun, or Minun, got Blaine's Last Stand. Remember we had the Reverse Hollow in the previous stack. Let me put some of these down so I can hold them a little better out from my face. Got a Stuffle that evolves into the Beware. Then you've got Nidorino Spupa. Got another Hollow from Shining Legends, Yveltal. I bet he gave us one of each of the Shining Legend Hollows. They got us a third Hoopa. Raichu GX. So the only GX we haven't got from Shining Legends is the Entei. And he's already given us the Mewtwo the Raichu and the, uh, wait, no, we haven't gotten the, uh, the Zoroark either, but we've gotten three GXs. We've gotten the regular Mewtwo GX, you got the Raichu GX, and then we've got the full art Mewtwo GX, which you can see sitting there in the background. Man, so we've got us an Avalug and a Charizard from Dragon Majesty. Oh, I am a sucker for Charizards. 
more than likely this will get sent to PSA if it's in pack fresh condition like all of the other stuff that I'm seeing it's hard not to put a Charizard up in the background you got an Ingo and Emmett you got Hal another Alolan Ninetales this is the fairy type and uh, so it's kind of cool I guess you can have different types within the Alolan as well so maybe Alolan is just saying that it's not from like the traditional so you've got water fire and fairy for Alolan Ninetales you got Nidoqueen NK man look at that I think the 90s time machine has really overdone himself. Check this out. We've got us a Pikachu and Zekrom GX. And this is from the Team Up set. Beautiful artwork. Check that out. Man, super great. Thank you so much. Let me put that in the background. And we still have a few more cards to go before we get into opening up the Sceptile EX-10. We've got us a Vileplume Hollow, a Pokemon Fan Club, great artwork as always, another Raikou, this one's Hollow instead of the Reverse Hollow, Torkoal, Erica's Hospitality, great artwork, great playable cards. You've got Nidorina, Buizel, Litwick, a Meganium, and then we've still got more GXs coming out of these pack or out of this set stack of cards. We've got us a white Kiram GX this time from Dragon Majesty. I've sold out of those a long time ago. I have no idea if those are even uh, hot right now or not. We've got a Murkrow, an Electrode, Como, Spiro, and to finish it out with a reverse hollow Klefki. Whew, so he's already got me talking more than I was talking in 10 videos. Most of you know I'm, I'm pretty quiet I just like going straight through the stuff but he just packed these cards with so much good stuff I mean it's hard not to talk about it and be thankful for it and we still have one more thing to go we still have to open up this sealed Sceptile EX-10 so I'm going to bust into that hopefully I'm not going to knock over the camera let me pull off the seal of this all right it's been a while since I've opened up a 10 just for fun Maybe I'll do that in some future videos. So there's a code for somebody. Hoenn Power 10 Sceptile. Imagine you will be getting this promo in the deck. Maybe two of them. You got the Sceptile EX. It's the XY53. I don't know what year this come out. Maybe we can see it on the back side somewhere. 2015, but yep, two th 1995 to 2015. So this 10 is about four years old. So we should expect XY packs. We've got Breakpoint, two Breakpoints, Ancient Origins, and a Phantom Forces. So I'm going to open up one of the Breakpoints. I'm going to just open them up in the exact order that they came. Let me see if we get anything cool out of them. So there's a Breakpoint code for somebody. One, two, three. They didn't have the energies just yet, so maybe. Um, I got that right. Now here's the most popular Frogadier in the deck that there ever was because look at that ridiculous attack, water duplicates. Search your, search your deck for up to three Frogadier and put them onto your bench. Shuffle your deck afterwards. People would do that and just load themselves down with Greninja. Turn three. Got a Fighting Fury Belt. That was super popular. It adds 40 HP and your attacks do 10 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon, but you can only do it to basic Pokemon. Of course, if it come out again, I guarantee you would see a lot of play. Reverse Valley. Breakpoint was the second set to have full art reversible trainers. So, like, there's an effect that goes to, to your opponent and an effect that goes to you. Or you could lay it down the opposite way and have the uh, this effect come to you and the other one go to your opponent. Ho-Oh EX. <laughs> wow, man. He... He picked out a good 10 for us, so we got us a Sceptile EX already straight in the in the front. And then we also pull a regular art EX pack number one. So the odds are that we would just pull one hollow within all four of these packs, and most likely it would not have been an EX or a full art or anything like that. But we pulled us a ho oh EX pack number one. Some really cool artwork. Check out its attack elemental feather. Kind of resembles the one where it was released as a rare in the Neo Revelation set. This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. And of course you gotta do three different energies to get there. But it's got an ability once during your turn if this Pokemon has any basic fire energy attached to it, you may heal 50 damage to it. So just attaching more energy to it, it's kind of like the rainbow Pokemon before you started coming out with other things like, you know, deserting with Rainbow Road. Because I believe in it was in Dragon's Exalted, there was a ho -Oh EX. It did something similar like that where there's different types of energy that are attached to it um, would 
make its attack increase. And that's what happened with the uh, the Neo Revelation ho -Oh. I remember when the Neo Revelation ho -Oh was being played, a lot of people would attach a rainbow energy to it. And it was it basically did, I think it was 10 damage more for every type of energy, or maybe been 20 damage more for every type of energy attached to it. So they'd be like, oh, it's all of those types of energy, so they'd do 20 damage times 6, or 10 damage times 6 automatically, but that's not how it works. You actually, rainbow energy only does one energy at a time, but it can provide any of those one energy. I don't think I showed the code for that. So there's that breakpoint code. Now we're on to Ancient Origins. This was the last set before breaks come out in breakthrough or breakpoint. Breakthrough was first and then it was breakpoint. I think my favorite card from Ancient Origins would be the Requaza, the Gold Requaza, Mega Requaza EX, which was a reprint technically from Roaring Skies, but it, it was as a secret rare, pretty much had the gold borders. And then we've got us a hollow too, so we've already got us an EX, and then we pull a hollow too. So this is a hollow Volcarona. Well, there goes my clock in the background. I guess that's pretty much perfect timing. We've got one more pack left in this video, and then I'm going to direct you guys back to this guy's channel. Because, I mean, if he's putting this much effort into sending me mystery cubes, you know that he's probably got some good stuff to show on his channel, or he will in the future. Here's pack number four. We have us a Phantom Forces booster pack. Robo Substitute, that was uh, highly played. Probably more so in the Night March decks. It's got a Rog and Rolla, and <laughs> we got us a Head Ringer. So not only did we get an EX, we also got a Hollow, and we got us a Flare. Head Ringer was a really good Flare during its time. It's not played that much now of course I me mean, phantom forces has been out of rotation for a long time but it was really good back then so we got us a cool uh, flare card I believe phantom forces was the only set to have the flare featured cards there may, there may have been one other set that had them there was I know there was the jamming net and then there was a head ringer in this set but anyways guys I really hope you guys go check out the 90s time machine uh, this video was made possible by him he sent I mean, all this stuff uh, for me to keep personally, so I mean, he's very, very generous. Uh, just go give him a subscribe. Go hit that link down in the description. Check him out. I'll try to have a link up here on the screen as well. But anyways, thanks so much for watching and uh, for checking out the video. Be on the lookout for more of them.